Please subscribe to Shotoku Tech so little Jimmy can have legs, won't you? Thank you very much. Hey, welcome back. I've already used this Raspberry Pi as a CAD workstation, and then I implemented it as an Octopi 3D print server, and now we're going to turn it into a Kodi Media Center. Here we go. So make sure to look for the link below in the description. This is LibreOlac, just enough OS for Kodi. And basically, you install this and you will have a 4K capable media center. So scroll down, make sure to get the right version for your hardware. And we're gonna download that. This is an image file. Now, I'm not certain if I really needed to go through the effort of extracting the GZ, but I went ahead and downloaded 7-zip to extract the GZ file. So you'll see here, let's go find 7-zip and extract that image file from the GZ. Looking closer at the Bellina Etcher, it looks like they'll work directly with GZ files, but I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. That image file is extracted. And let's get Etcher going here. Again, Etcher's just going to write that image to a uh, micro SD card that we can put in the Raspberry Pi 4. I'm going to speed this up. It takes a few minutes actually, but I'm just compressing the video here. It writes it, then it verifies the image. Okay, great, we've got a chip written with the image. We're gonna go put it in the Pi and we'll set up our test bench here. Make sure not to format that. Yeah, you'll remember this case from my previous video, Raspberry Pi and Octopi. That's the IR dongle for the Media Center remote control. There's the AGB tech. HDMI recorder comes in handy for doing videos like this. This is the micro HDMI to HDMI adapter. Got a 32 inch curved monitor on the wall there. All right, let's get started. Put the IR dongle in the USB port of the Media Center Raspberry Pi. Attaching the HDMI adapter. So that HDMI out will go to the input on the AGB tech so I can record the output to show you. Just gonna spin this around to take up some of the slack. Okay, now I'm hooking up my 32 inch monitor to the output of the AGB tech HDMI recorder. So I'll be able to see it on the screen. 
getting my Raspberry Pi power cord attached here. Make sure to get the official one for the 4B. You need a 3 amp 5 volt adapter with a USB-C type connector. So that's not a very common item to have on hand. Okay, plugging in a USB thumb drive there, so that's where our recording will result. And here we go, powering it up. Waiting for the Raspberry Pi to come on so I can start recording on my AGP tech. Got a solid red light. Basically, it's just the reformatting the free volume and it's going to reboot again. So I'm going to keep trying to record here on my AGP tech as it reboots. And here we come. You can already see Cody on the screen waiting to be set up. I'm going to use my Media Center remote to complete the setup of Cody. Okay, here we go. This is what it looks like. Going to set up some Wi-Fi. Of course, you'll have to use your own Wi-Fi network. I'm not going to give you mine. up. I'm not going to enable SSH. All right, we don't have any media set up, but I wanted to set up YouTube first because I want to replace an aging Roku in my living room. It really performs poorly on YouTube, so I wanted to see if this could take the place of that aging Roku. Really, truly, 50% of my viewing, 60-75% of my viewing is YouTube. I do a little Pluto TV and then watch some very particular shows on Netflix or Amazon. Okay, I don't understand this big long list of what's all these YouTubes, so I'm going to find the most vanilla sounding one. Official Cody channel looks good. <laughs> oh, that looks like YouTube. I'm going to go with that one. All right, got to install this other stuff with it. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Let's get going. And off we go. We're installing YouTube. All right, setting up some of the basics. English, United States, using my back button on the remote to come back out. Let's see if we can find us some Shotoku tech. I'm wondering if this Kodi LibreOlec has the capacity for a keyboard, whether it's Bluetooth or RF, it would be kind of handy. And we find Shotoku Tech, got this Shotoku Tech channel, and here we go.
The other thing I wanted to set up was SMB so I can use uh, the media that I have stored on a local file server here. So we're going to step through that. Here we are. We're going to add an SMB path. Of course, you want to use your own. Mine's a little far away from you. password and a username use yours not mine okay let's go see how this works a little uncertain what to click on there so I'm gonna skip it this directory contains movies more stuff I don't know what to click on I just want to watch something. There we go. So there's my source. And let's see how it performs. This is looking pretty encouraging. Well, that was pretty breezy. It didn't take a lot of effort to create a media center with Libria Elec and Cody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much.